Michael Tomlin and Johan Ramirez have made the bullpen. Welcome to the channel, guys. Definitely, this is all things message where you should use mess media, everything about the Mets on the channel. Definitely do me a favor, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And today's content video is going to be about Michael Tonklin and Johan Ramirez, guys. Yes, they have made the roster spots, the last two roster spots for the New York Mets in the bullpen. That is the news. Michael Tonklin has been very, very impressive hasn't even allowed a run in spring training and you know um this was a really good pickup by david stearns you know um his first literally his first pickup in the offseason for the bullpen uh michael tonklin a guy that you know has been around the league you know um definitely went he pitched in uh, overseas you know with japan he's definitely been around but this guy looked really, really impressive when it comes to, you know, the bullpen. When it comes to Michael Tonklin, I felt like this was the move to make because this guy brings you something different that not a lot of, you know, he's not a high velocity guy, but definitely he's a little orthodox. And that is something that, you know, with seven strikeouts in spring training and, you know, a whip over one, it's just very, very impressive what Michael Tonklin was able to do. And when it comes to the bullpen, the Mets needed help with the bullpen, obviously. And Michael Tonklin, like I said, he was the first sign for the bullpen for David Stearns. And it seems like it's, 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 it's worked out for him. You know, it's worked out for him. He's worked hard in spring training. He hasn't allowed one run in spring training, which was amazing to see. You know, and then you have another guy like Johan Ramirez, who is a high velocity guy, has been around the league for a little bit, uh, you know, was DFA'd by a couple of teams, uh, but definitely was traded from the Chicago White Sox to, you know, the New York Mets in the offseason. And that is something that the Mets, you know, with David Stearns. You know, I love what I've seen from him. I love what I see from David Stearns, you know, getting these guys, getting these guys that can be potential bullpen guys and making them bullpen guys because Johan Ramirez really really impressive stuff with his fastball now the breaking stuff for Johan Ramirez isn't as impressive you know it's a little secondary when it comes to his breaking stuff but you know you hope that that plays in the major leagues you hope that he has a good you know um I don't know exactly what his role is gonna be I don't know if they're gonna have every you know role for it a seventh inning guy eighth inning guy and I know the ninth inning guy is gonna be Edwin Diaz but just in general when you get guys like Michael Tonklin and Johan Ramirez to add to your bullpen, you know, that is something that is great to see because the Mets, we've seen in recent years, the Mets not have a really good bullpen. You know, in 2022, they had a better bullpen, but in 2023, they had a horrible bullpen. They didn't have guys that can, you know, uh, you know, put, put things to bed, you know, put the game to bed, you know, they, uh, now, I'm not going to say I trust, you know, guys like Drew Smith, but um, these are the guys that made the bullpen spots. I think that they can be successful. I hope that they can be successful. I really like uh, uh, Johan Ramirez. I think this guy, his fastball is electric. And, you know, um, hopefully uh, Fujinami, you know, if he proves himself in the minors, he gets a spot in the bullpen. Now, it was it was a tough competition, though. It was a tough competition between Sean Reed Foley, between, you know, Michael Tonklin, and between Johan Ramirez. And I felt like Sean Reed Foley performed, you know, the fastball looked really, really good. Um, Sean Reed Foley, his look has looked pretty, really, pretty good. The best I've seen in some time from him, but the Mets have given him a lot of chances when it comes to uh, Sean Reed Foley. And I felt like they wanted to go a different route. You know, David Stearns has confidence in these guys that he brought in that he traded for so we'll see at the end of the day but when it comes to these spots it was good to see that you know johan ramirez made this team because he looked very very impressive very very impressive um you know his last bullpen stint you know um with other teams wasn't so good but you just hope that you know sometimes with a new team new scenery it helps you out so maybe with the Mets and Johan Ramirez, that'll help him out. Maybe he'll be more confident. You know, it is New York. It's going to be a lot of pressure, guys, on him. But when it comes to a guy like Michael Tonklin, he's orthodox. He's different. That is something that I felt like 
you know, they, they have high velocity guys in the bullpen, but I had a feeling that Michael Tonklin was going to be that guy, you know, to get that bullpen spot because he's different. He has different, you know, whiff rates, you know, uh, spin rates. That is something you can't teach when it comes to the bullpen. So I think Michael Tonklin is going to be good. You know, he spent some time in the Braves also. I think he's going to be successful. I hope that he's going to be successful. I trust what David Stearns is doing with this bullpen. And, you know, now we got guys like Fujinami, you know, you know what I'm saying, in the bullpen ready to go. You know, when he, when he is, you know, ready to go with his control and all that, I think, you know, we will see Fujinami. But these two last bullpen spots, it's something we needed this. We needed to know before, obviously, opening day. And good to see. Honestly, good to see that these guys made the team because I feel like these guys are going to be successful. Now, you don't know what these guys are going to be. You don't know if they're going to tank. You don't know what they're going to be. But I think David Stearns, you know, just his his knowledge of baseball and what he has shown me, especially with the Tyrone Taylor pickup, especially with the Michael Tonklin pickup, uh, uh, you know, things, you know, that not a lot of, you know, executives can see. And that is why... I feel David Stearns is so special. So we'll see what happens at the end of the day. But I really think that this is going to be successful. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that these are the guys that should have made the last two final spots? Now, obviously, it was between Sean Reed Foley and the other guys. But let me know what you guys think. Would you have gone Sean Reed Foley? Because Sean Reed Foley is now going to be in the IL with shoulder infringement. infringement. Now... I don't know if that's a fake injury or real injury. It is what it is. But <laughs> at the end of the day, Sean Reed Foley, I think we're going to see him in the majors again. Definitely. You know how bullpen guys are. If you don't know baseball, the Mets, the bullpen, it always shakes around. You're going to need a lot of your bullpen in AAA. You're going to need guys, you know, so it's not like it's going to be the last of we see of Sean Reed Foley in a New York Mets uniform. But they placed him on wait you know uh i think they placed him on waivers too so i don't know i don't know actually if if a team is going to pick him up but if they don't then you know uh we'll see but that's going to be the video if you enjoyed definitely do me a favor leave a like comment and subscribe this is all things message where you should media i'm out of here have a good one guys i love